I'll be talking about the fourth industrial revolution and what are the five key trends we see emerge. Uh, before I start that, I wanted to show a video which is sort of a disclaimer. Watch this subject carefully because discussions of any new technology tend to age very badly, as this news report from less than five years ago shows. The first users of Google Glasses surely will not be the last. I think it'll end up changing our lifestyles. You know, changing the way we interact with, with each other um, and just changing the gesture. Instead of this, it will be that. Yeah, it wasn't though. It was not that. Because for some reason, people didn't mind doing this with their hands if the alternative was wearing a stupid robot on their face all day. The point is, it is dangerous to make predictions about where tech... So that's the point. The point is, it's dangerous to make predictions about technology, but I'll still be brave enough to try and talk about some of those things. So we at Dell EMC firmly believe that technology drives human progress. And I was happy to see Nikhil speak, Zikri speak, how technology is enabling human progress, right? And we are talking about how will we realize that in 2030? How will we make it real? And what are the key trends which are emerging? But in order to make it real, to realize it by 2030, it is important to put in the work today. It will not happen on its own. Each one of us will have to contribute to make it happen. And before we do that, what are the key tenets or key facts we need to know and the areas in which we need to put effort in are the things that we, I, I'm going to talk about. So the topic that I'm going to talk is identifying only the top five trends. As I said, discussions on technology tend to age very badly. But given the research we had, given the studies we have done across industries and studies we have done with business leaders, we firmly believe these are five trends which will shape the digital future and what some people are calling fourth industrial revolution. The first and foremost will be that we'll see an era of human-machine partnerships, right? We will see human beings becoming what we call digital conductors. Like you have musical conductors, human being will outsource the routine mundane tasks to machines and we will order them to do it for us. Siri, dial this number for me. That's pretty common while driving, right? Please get me this number. So that's one piece. While the consumer side of digital uh, human-machine partnership, there are plenty of examples, whether they're autonomous cars or voice assistants and everything else, we'll see this moving on to the industrial side, where we'll see more and more machines enabling the progress of the industries and of the companies. Talking of human-machine partnership on a consumer side, I saw it an example a few weeks ago. We were traveling to Russia with family and friends for watching soccer match. Russia, as you know, everything is good, but the language is a major concern. And this is the first time I experienced Google Translator. It's not only text, but speech. So you have to talk to a taxi guy, you want to talk to something else, you just speak, this guy translates into English and speak. And when he speaks back in, I mean, translates in Russian, they speak back in Russian and it translates back for you in English. That's the partnership, right? A few years ago, I know my friends used to visit there from Wipro many decades ago, the major challenge was language and they had to read, they have to translate and everything else gone. Google Translate equips you with every kind of language. So that's one major use of, in my life, I saw a human machine partnership. The next, IoT is everywhere, right? As the cost of embedding intelligence and connectivity into devices goes down, the predictions are that we will see 200 billion connected devices. We'll see 200 billion connected devices by end of 2020. And the estimates are a few trillion by 2051 or something. So, right, it's unimaginable. But what's important is look at the cost. If this year it is 50 cents per device, next year is predicted to be 32 cents per device, the cost of making a device intelligent. And what does it mean? It means that we can now collect information about any device, any equipment, any machine, any human being, and process and synthesize into a knowledge, right? What it also means is the data is coming to us at a speed which was not there earlier. So it becomes, again, humanly impossible to analyze the so much of data coming at us with so much speed. How do you analyze? And that will define what is the next technology. You spoke about data lake, right? How many, 80 petabytes of data, right? Imagine 200 billion devices and we are happy as a data storage company because they'll generate a whole lot of exabytes of data. But the key is, how do you convert that data 
to information to knowledge that's the key and that's the journey which will be traversed by the next which is ai as i said ai will fuel we will fuel all the businesses and it will analyze the data coming at us with velocity with speed any human being not possible for him to analyze ai will help us analyze and drive and help us draw actionable intelligence or intelligence which may not need human intervention that's the key third trend we are talking about fourth the whole immersive computing has finally arrived the whole ar and vr studies show that vr will create a 1 trillion market and within industries we are using where it is being used training classes today when we train our newcomers we don't have to show them how a service engineer we don't have to show them how a new storage or a server looks like he wears a vr headset it gives them a view of how the entire machine looks like how he or she should be repairing that machine or touching which points to get the data out of the system similarly we we are speaking to an auto manufacturer who has started training their new workforce using the vr technology so we'll clearly see immersive and vr as a big trend coming forward next with all this data with all this information this will be the key thing security it will not be a bolt on feature it will be a integrated feature and you'll see more and more policies coming around in uh, safeguards coming around recently we read about uh, trai reserve bank of india uh, department of technology bringing out a paper around how to protect that information and what is government worried about is what they call that asm addiction surveillance manipulation with all of us living in our echo chambers it's very easily easy to manipulate our behavior by feeding us the news that we want to see right so the whole privacy protection data protection and security of the data and corporate security of the data right god forbid your data lake gets gets hacked into its 10 years of data for entire corporation can be so valuable so clearly security will become an integral feature and not a bolt on feature and we'll see products which are securities clearly integrated so these five trends will give rise to what we see as the four forces and i think himal you are touching upon that the four forces we believe will change the industry are digital transformation which will result in it transformation which is underlying workforce transformation because the workforce coming in is new the devices and their expectation from the organization are very different the process is very different so digital it workforce and last will be security transformation we believe these are the four pillars which will shape the fourth industrial revolution as we move forward so once again thank you very much for your time thank you very much to choose to invest time with us and i think i'm on time thank you